object of this presentation is to demonstrate the effect of MER-17, a new blocking agent, against the development of LSD-25 psychosis. On the first experimental day, Ronnie, aged 22 and weighing 75 kilograms, was given 100 gamma of LSD-25 in distilled water orally. This is a very small quantity of LSD-25, but all investigators report that it is enough to produce a temporary psychotic dissociation state in any healthy adult. The scene which follows shows what happened to Ronnie after he drank the LSD-25 solution. And if you will follow the clock, you will be able to note time intervals accurately. Now, how do you feel after an hour? Uh, uh, I have to uh, maintain my attention. It's an effort to, uh, to uh, well, talk to you right now, for instance. Uh, uh, realities leading. Does it seem like you've been here a great long time? I've lost all the uh, time perception. Uh, it's probably sometime in the afternoon is all I can tell you. So. Have you had any visual phenomena or any auditory phenomena? Uh, I'm in on the couch. Uh, I was, uh, Nothing that can describe it. There were, there were a lot of uh, colors and, and uh, things taking shapes. So. Anything you'd like to do right now? No. If you had Aladdin's lamp and could do anything in the world you wanted to right now, what would you like to do? Uh, get rid of this nervousness. Uh, and Apprehensive. Do you feel as though you're in contact with this situation and with us and with people around us? I don't even know. Are you worried? No, I don't think so. You've been lying down and you haven't been talking. If I asked you how you felt, could you describe the way you feel? Round? Yeah. What did I ask you? Oh. Um, how I felt or something, I guess. Mm -hmm. Could you answer me? I feel all right. Ron? It's been six hours since you took that drink. Are you still feeling badly? Yeah. Uh, do you know where you are? Yeah. Where are you? Christ Hospital. Has your mind been on anything in particular? Have you been thinking about anything in particular? No. Do you feel depressed? Do you feel elated? No. Have you been seeing anything by way of colors? Or have you been hearing anything unusual? No. If I were to ask you how you felt, could you tell me? I guess I am sad. I'm depressed. I'm sorry. What sort of mental activity are you going through? Confusion. Well, Ron, you said that you thought the sun was in the wrong position when you looked out the window. Yeah, I, I lost uh, time perception. What has your mental content been uh, lately? Do you know what you've been thinking about? Just trying to keep uh, things the true situation is trying to uh, be aware of it, trying to stay in contact with reality. Have you felt a waxing and waning with reality? Uh, well, sometimes I've been confused about which is reality and which isn't. I mean, uh, 
what little situations uh, I was aware of uh, noises, for instance, that uh, may have been to annoy me and may not have been. And rather than, than uh, investigate, I, I just sort of let them go. Can you describe to us uh, how this thing was uh, some hours back when you were in the middle of it? Just mass confusion is all. Uh, a, uh, That's, that's a confusion. Would you say it was pleasant or unpleasant? Uh, I wasn't aware at the time of any pleasantness or unpleasantness, and uh, and I'm still not uh, I uh, I'm not uh, aware of any pleasantness or unpleasantness. I, uh, emo I'm emotionless about them. Yeah. Well, Ronnie, do you think the pictures show the whole story of your LSD 25 experience? Not by a long shot. The day after the experiment, you wrote out something about it. Would you mind reading a part of it? Not at all. I had very little by way of visual hallucinations, but what I consider the important thing that, well, what's the word to describe it? Dissociated, plagued, pounded, weighed? All three are inadequate to describe the horrible state I was in. All of them put together. Perhaps the central thing was suspicion and fear that you would find out about me, or perhaps think things that were not true. My overwhelming concern became, are they doing this to find out how I'll act? Are they deliberately rattling that damn paper to make me angry? On and on and on this went. And, as was no doubt obvious, I decided to do as little as possible so I wouldn't make any mistakes. It was my confusion, the fact that I had to study the situation, to be careful that, shall I say, rack me up. I believe that there was still a trace of this suspiciousness when we took you home that night. Would you mind telling us about the television experience? It's hard to believe, but I joined the family to look at television in the living room, and I'll be damned if it wasn't talking in loaded phrases, too. That made my reason take another step toward control, and I felt better. Well, thank you very much, Ronnie. This essentially paranoid type of reaction pattern has been described repeatedly by investigators of LSD-25 psychosis. During the next week, Ronnie was given a five milligram tablet of our new blocking agent, Price Daly, and one final tablet on the morning of the second experimental day. And now, let us return to Ronnie and the second experimental day. Good morning to you. Good morning. I believe you've been taking one five milligram tablet of this compound twice daily throughout the last week. That's right. And you took one this morning. Yes, sir. All right, now here we are with one tenth of a milligram of LSD in the still water. So down the hat. Well, Ronnie, does it seem to be a half an hour since you took the LSD? Yes, sir. Have you got anything to report to us in this first half hour? Nothing. This is something to report. Uh, it's, uh, it's been an hour since you've taken LSD. What can you report to us? Well, now I can definitely tell I have taken it. Uh, but uh, my thoughts seem to be in good shape so far. Well, Ronnie, it's been an hour and a half since you took the LSD, and I've noticed an increase in restlessness in you. Uh, extreme restlessness, yes, sir. But my thoughts are in good control. I mean, uh, I'm much more confident at this time than I was. Now, uh, last week you had the very uncomfortable feeling that all of us were indulging in double talk. Uh, is there any of that feeling in you now? None whatsoever. I, I, uh, I think that'd be a sort of a dissociative feeling that I don't have uh, now. At uh, three hours last week, I asked you that if you had Aladdin's lamp and could get your most desired wish, you said that you would wish that something could be done to get rid of the nervousness that you had. Would you answer in the same way today? I'm not sure. I. I uh I think I'd uh, be more aware of the possibilities of such a uh, an author uh, uh, today than I was. Ronnie, what time does it seem to be? 
It's uh, somewhere, oh, I'd say uh, about 3, 30, 4 o'clock, something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in the last half hour, we've been sort of having a general discussion on philosophic things, the pitfalls and scientific methods and so on. You seem to be sort of interested in what we were. I, I followed your conversation. If you could do exactly what you wanted to do right now, or would you be doing anything different than you're doing? Well, I, uh, I could be home, if that's what you mean. I could uh, probably be doing something a little more enjoyable, yeah. What would be enjoyable in your thinking right now? I don't know, being out in, outside, it seems like a nice day out. All right, we're now at the five and a half hour after taking LSD period. You're just telling me outside that this is nothing like it was last week. It is nothing like it was last week. There, there are uh, some of the same symptoms, and it uh, seems that it, uh, it were ready to happen, but it uh, just didn't. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, when I went to uh, lie down, uh, uh, last Saturday I could have easily sort of been swallowed up, and I was trying to do it uh, then, just but now, now, just now, mm -hmm. and uh, it just didn't happen, that's all. Mm -hmm. Ronnie, you wrote out your experience after the second episode or two. Would you mind reading us part of it? No, no. It was quite similar, yet it was so very, very different. For the first time, my mind began racing and becoming tangled and, and eventually swallowing me up, despite my efforts. The second time, my efforts to fight it off were successful. In one sentence, I think it might be summed up rather adequately by saying it was a fight both times, but the second time I won. Well, thank you very much. Did you say that this drug has clinical application? Well, time will tell. But we have been quite impressed with our clinical results so far, in some cases of acute schizophrenia, some cases of alcoholic hallucinosis, some senile hallucinatory states, and even a few cases of chronic schizophrenia. They represent about 60 cases in all. And furthermore, we are continuing our experimental work with hallucinogenic drugs, such as mescaline, cannabis, adrenochrome, etc. Are there any other questions? Yes. Can MER-17 be used intravenously? Yes, and it's very interesting, too. On December the 18th, 1954, Ronnie drank a second 100 gamma of LSD-25 without protection. Four and a half hours later, he was in an almost catatonic state. At that time, 10 milligrams of MER-17 was given intravenously and repeated in 15 minutes. This brought about a complete cessation and dissolution of his LSD-25 psychosis. Look at the picture. I'm right here. Do you feel that you're very close to us in your thinking? No. No. Can you tell me anything about what you have been thinking about? Can you tell me anything about your thinking now? I can't understand. How do you feel? All right. Does anything make much sense to you now? No. What seems to be the matter? No. Can you think? No. Can you tell me what's going on inside of your head? Ronnie, are you frightened? Are you fearful? No. Now, Ron, we're going to give you an injection to see whether it makes you feel any better. I don't suppose you taste anything, do you? You feel anything? No. 
I don't know how or why. I'm sorry, but that's all I can report. <laughs> 